Welcome back to a beat a week with me, 93 Acres, and this is episode one, season three. It's mad we've made it this far, although it has been two years since my last episode of a beat a week. And this time, season three, we're making it a little bit different. We're going to be challenging ourselves in one stream in hopefully one to two hours, make a beat with some sort of challenge. And each episode will have a different challenge with different requirements that we have to make the beat with. And today, our challenge is to make it with strings. So that doesn't mean we just have to make it with just stringed instruments. We can put on drums on top of it, but we're going to have the main core of the beat is going to be with strings. And that should do us for today. So let's see how it goes. A lot of pressure in episode one i've no idea what's going to happen i haven't even thought about bpm what time signature what keys we're going to be playing in so hopefully we'll find something and hopefully you learn something and enjoy it as well cool let's have a go and i'm live streaming this on youtube as well so you can catch me most nights of the week tuesday is my day off so every other night you can catch me there around 6 7 p.m in the evening gmt sweet all right let's get to it let's see where we start okay today we can't really start with a name or title we only have a cymbal swell we have some white noise and we have an impact that's all we have so far just some of our effects that we can use as we go through this challenge. All right, so here we go. I suppose we'll call it beat with strings. And what color, I suppose. It's wood instruments, that kind of woody color. Great. Now, what BPM are we feeling? Ooh, sometimes it's nice to see if we can try slightly faster BPM. Might be fun. Challenge ourselves to play something interesting. Time signatures as well. We could try a waltz. Hmm, maybe I'll do that for another episode. Yeah, for today, let's just keep it 4-4. Four, four. We'll keep it nice and simple. Let's start off at 1.30. Okay, let's use the lab's piano for the minute because it's arguably the most emotional. It doesn't have a lot of high end, but it's very good for what it does. So let's run with that. I think that's a good start. So my plan here is I think if we can play in some chords, we make some interesting nice chords then we might play a maybe a violin melody over that and when we have an interesting melody through the violin we might mess it up to make it sound not like a violin and then put lovely string layers that will emphasize the chords and the little changes in our progression so we'll have a violin lead and we'll have a violin kind of i suppose ensemble that will be holding the the roots of the chords sweet so that's that's the plan for the minute so let's try that here we go let's play some keys some spans there it's kind of nice sweet okay cool uh let's record that in um so we played some nice chords there the chords were d7 d major 7 e minor with a 7 and a 9 and then we went to f sharp minor with a 7 and then to a G, G major to a a7 and the g resolves to the b Cool. Let's play that. This is sounding very pretty. Um, so it'll be a challenge to make it sound pretty heavy hitting because I feel like I want to do that. I want to make nice and pretty with the strings, but something that's heavy hitting at the same time, you know? So we'll probably <laughs> end up doing that through 808s and stuff like that. But for the minute, let's just... Um, this is our downbeat. So we'll get our swell hitting on the downbeat. Seems we have them here already. Try them across there. Uh, that's the white noise that has we want to copy. And our downbeat. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cool, and we'll make it pretty up tempo because it's pretty chords, but let's let's get give it a bit of move. So I'll play with it for a second. I also feel like let's let's go for something fast. Let's go for 140. Here we go. Let's try this. Yeah, I think that's as close as we're gonna get <laughs> for the minute. Let's try and keep this moving. Here we are. So let's just contest that really quickly. We're just going to make it really gentle piano. Okay. Nice, nice. There's a little tension and resolve, but it resolves pretty quickly in fairness. That's some fun fun notes there. Okay, cool. So there's our piano, with there's our chords. So let's just throw it up here. G oh sorry, D major. Of chord. Which go one, two. It's three, right? Four, five. So that's a seven. What well, one to seven? D so D major, D seven, E minor nine, F minor seven, G major, so G sus two, A, A with a seven, so that's yeah, the seven with the seven's lower down. That's all right, though. Cool, so you get the sensation that we're rising the whole time, although we do drop down the octave on the F. So that's interesting. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Cool. All right, so we're going to leave it like that for the minute. Now let's play some violin melody over that. So we'll leave it over the those uh, eight bars. So here we go. Let's get some violin. So we'll need to cre create some audio tracks. Recording. That is mono. Actually, this would be perfect. Let's call this 
file in and what we're going to do is we have input one that is correct and i'm just going to make sure i have no low frequency in some of those lines that's great we'll create a few of these let's, let's see if we can record this file in there let's see how this sounds Okay, so there is our melody. Uh, let's just put our fade tool there. It's always very tough to do that with one arm. Cool. Let's just double that melody. It's always nice to double. Sometimes it's nice to tune them as well, just to make sure everything's bang on in tune. Because then when you have lots of overlays, sometimes it's nice, but then it's like this is the tiniest bit of adjustment. Get another line in there. Transfade that with one arm and then the other side. Here we go. Let's have a quick listen. We need more violins. This violin, we're just holding the the root, the tonic. Okay, so let's leave that there for the minute. So we have two options. What we could do is we could make this into the beat, or we could sample this. All right, that should be violin notes. Okay, sweet. Now bring it at the top. I forgot that. There's a difference between here and here. <laughs> all right let's work on the second section and what i'm hearing is strings can be muted for the first half and then they can come in the second half lovely now so the strings are in the second half pianos in the first half as an introduction to the to the melody cool and we've got white noise risers each each four really happy cool and we just a white noise riser each time just to keep us going cool so now let's let's work on our beat then so there's our sampled violin we might well we we will put more violins in it soon okay so there's our sample now for this let's just, let's work on the drop and let's work on the beat so this is the section we got so far Cool. And there's our sample, right? So we got there. We got our key. We got our chords. We've brought it from a feel of 70 BPM. Two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four. So basically going double, double time. And it's, it could be a cool way to make you really feel it. So I'm going to take a little gap here on the third beat, I think, uh, just before the drop. And then I don't want that guy to fade really at all. Sweet. Okay, so let's let's make our beat. Let's use splice now to get some drums. Actually, let's start with the snare. Snare is always good to get us feeling the vibe a little bit more. So we're going to put the clap on every three. So let's throw in some hi-hats. ASX 24. And we're going to open up our hi-hats. The Harlem ones are pretty nice. Now let's record this in. We can play them in, in the right key then as well. So that's a nice control. All right, let's try this now. Okay, let's leave it like that for the minute. We will change it up as we go along. For the minute, it's kind of nice to have some sort of pattern going straight away. Throwing a nice snare, just to double up that hit. I hit put in a little hi-hat now. So we'll just go umta, umta, rest, rest. Sweet. Now, we're gonna make him, he opens and closes pretty fast. That's good. I'm gonna put our hi-hats over to the right, just a little bit, maybe 15, some nice 16 grand, go for it. 
Cool, that's pretty pretty funky. I'm liking it. Let's get some weird drums. I like to drum. He could be pretty nice just on the tree and we'll just, it's like a cymbal. So that's just a m g m g k Cool, we're feeling it, we're feeling it. Now it's important to make sure we make a few more audio tracks that are mono. And uh, I know some of these bounce in as non mono tracks. Snare, that's a thud. Clap, snare, two. Hey, H, so hi hat open. Right. Okay, we're feeling it so far. Well, let's just throw in little sounds we're hearing them. That's pretty cool. Cool when he gets into the groove. It it's just kind of keeping that syncopated rhythm going the whole way through really then which is pretty nice maybe just add a little bit of reverb to him maybe it should be number two reverb so we have two different reverbs a short and a long and if i go back to piano and i can change some keys some notes just getting some bass notes in there let's put the sub in G actually for the minute. I feel like the A is too cheesy or something. <laughs> it's so cheesy, but we'll make it work. Okay, so that was our bass line. Fix that man. And then fix philosophy. So every second bar we're going to come in halfway through perfect that's sorted now let's put the kick in just so we have a kick i like this old guy a lot it's gonna be mm, boom boom ka boom boom ka boom boom ka i'm gonna make the sample but one either side of our head just so it's around our head and uh, so it's like a quick quick fix cool i don't like this bass so i'm gonna record that line in That's all right, I'll get rid of the, the little bits in the middle. So the main thing about strings is if you have real ones and put fake ones with them and mix them in together, you get the best string sound, nice and thick. So that's what we're gonna do. We have our rough thing, so now we're putting little cherries on top. Sounds lovely. Cool. You can hear there's just so much lushness there, and then you gotta mix them in together, and depending on how much time you have, of course. Ah, oh, there's nothing like real strings. We'll add a few more notes potentially. Need some quick texture in here. All right, let's play this texture in real quick. So we'll throw in Merfolk. Maybe just a A and a D. All right, sweet. So let's just run through that track really quickly. So we have in the early stages, we have a nice piano playing the melody. Then we have some real strings coming in. Real <laughs> and fake ones. Cool. And if we had more time, I'd probably play in some real strings here in the latter section, but we don't. So that's all right. We're trying to do this in a short amount of time <laughs> on the live stream, which you can always check out. Impacts. <laughs> some crazy stuff. That was a white noise going crazy. We've got some drums. And with a hi-hat. Sweet. And then we got a, 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 our bass we played in. And with the sub. Cool. And then we sampled our violins, our real violins from the first time. And we pitched them up an octave. And then we threw some spread, or C20. Just tiny little things, just to kind of bring it together. All right, let's have a full lesson then. String beat, here we go.
Okay, well, that's all for today. Um, we'll probably work on that beat a little bit more. There's a few spaces in it and definitely stuff we can do. For this new season, I'm going to try and do this in one live stream. We'll see how it goes for the start anyway. Uh, we'll put ourselves under pressure, try and do weird things, figure out new things. Like this flex pitch in this way, I have been using it for tuning vocals and stuff, but I've never actually used it for sampling and speeding things up and shortening them and etc. So it was a good challenge. So yeah, there's our strings beat. If you have any suggestions of what other challenges we could try in making a beat next week, let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So yeah, my plan is then to release a beat week every Sunday and then we'll continue with under the covers for Tuesday and Thursdays videos. That worked out okay. Definitely some room for improvement and we can definitely work on it in the coming days if we feel like there's more potential. We'll listen again tomorrow. It's always good to listen to refreshers the next day and see if you like it and if you want to keep on going with it. Alright, sweet. Thanks for hanging out. Really appreciate it. That's been a beat a week with me, 93 Acres. Yeah, we'll be back again. If you could check out my new single, I just released it there with Macros on Spotify. I'll just bring it up here. Nobody to blame with Macros. It's wonderful Macros, very talented uh, musician. We just released Nobody to Blame um, on Spotify. Um, well, every streaming platform. So if you want to check it out, that'd be great. Thanks for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Bye, 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 bye. bye.